Okay, friends, these are the three shapes that we're gonna create to make our wall art, origami radiant relief art. So, um, let's talk about this, these three different shapes. I gave you 10 of each color. I recommend you to work on pairs so you keep symmetry, see? You can mix them and match them and, com and create symmetry with them. You don't have to, you can be as creative as you want, but the more you have, the more choices you will get. You get to stack them up like this, or you can work in opposite corners of your paper and create uh, a different design. So I'm gonna fold, I'm gonna teach you how to make each one of these folds, and I do want you to keep practicing these folds because they are actually really good to learn origami bases. This base right here it's called a, a kite, and it helps us learn to make the um, the crane. This one right here, it's uh, this one right here. Uh, it's the samurai hat, and it's also used in so many origami shapes. So these shapes take only a couple folds, and they will be a good warm-up exercise for you to start creating your own origami shapes that you can Google on on internet. So the easiest shape that we're gonna fold today is this one right here. So for that one, you're gonna take, uh, I have my 30 papers here. I have to just keep preparing them. We're gonna take the first paper and you're gonna fold it in half. This one is quite, quite simple, but it helps us practice matching corners, making very precise folds and, crass, and crisp our pleats. Then you're gonna, Keep the, the two overlapping, the two laps, the open side of your shape untouched. And this, the folded side, is the one you're going to bend and fold to form the triangle shape that we're going for. So, one side first and the other side second. I have my first shape done. So... Again, I'm gonna do them twice so you get to have like a better good idea of what we're working with. Make a square, fold it in half, match your corners, take your time, press down, mark your fold, make it crisp. And now I have my open uh, side of the, sh the shape on the top. So I'm gonna just bring those bottoms corners to the middle and form that, that triangle shape I'm going for. They need to meet in here and in the middle, just like that. Press the crisp. Okay, so it took you three folds. One, two, three, that's it. Shape number one is the easiest one. Shape number two, we're getting um, a second level of difficulty for this one. So if this one is easy, this one is medium, and this one is gonna be challenging. So this one is called the kite. And instead of starting with a square, we're gonna actually start with a rhombus. We're gonna fold it like a taco. Can you tell? Instead of folding a rectangle, now I have a triangle. And I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna bring this side of my shape to the middle like that. See how I'm holding? My, my middle crisp will be my guide. So when I open again, I will have to hold that corner down with one finger until I match my corner. See how I'm making you do something that it's a little bit more challenging this time? I trust that you will practice just like um, Joey in the book we read last week. 
if you were in the Zoom class, you get to you got to read a book with us. Morigami. It takes practice and patience. Fold those two margins to the middle. That's the kite. For this shape, I want you to rotate your paper and repeat it on the small end too. So I'm, my, my fingers pretty much move the same. That's why origami is so good for you. Look how my hands are working like a team. You think we do that all the time, but actually we do that less and less as we grow up. And we usually just have one hand doing most of the work and the other hand is just, you know, looking. It's good to make both hands work because that makes both sides of our brain work at the same time. So that's the shape, okay? So this one took more folds and see how it's um, a little bit more challenging to just get those uh, edge margins to the middle, but it's only a couple folds. Let's do that one, one more time. I know you can pause the video, you can rewind. So again, start with your rhombus and fold it in half. Like that, open, fold. Take your time to make it match and look beautiful. Work, work with something that makes you comfortable. If you need to rotate the paper to be more comfortable, that's, that's fine. I'm just trying to keep it, not move it too much so you don't get confused. And then the top too make my corner and then my fold. I will find my corner. First I will find my corner and then I make my fold. Okay, that's shape number two. This one is the most challenging one. And in this one, the samurai hat, I will talk to you about another origami shape that it's pretty much the base of all the origami origami folds so this one takes multiple steps so pay attention they're not hard until the end fold in half make a rectangle so i'm starting with a square and i'm folding it in half and i'm making a rectangle i open it again i rotate and i repeat the step easy peasy, right? Now, this time is key to remember to flip your piece and now you're gonna work on the rhombus. So now you have a diamond shape here, fold it in half, open it, fold it in half, up, oh, rotate and fold it in half. Why? Why did the teacher make me fold my flip my paper if I'm just folding it in half? Well, here's where the magic starts. If I just push the center up, see how these shapes are going in like this by themselves? I just immediately create a water bomb base, the square. Just by making folds in opposite sides of the paper. And if I push my my edge, my center to the other side, instead of forming a square, I will find a triangle shape. See how the pieces fold it, the sides of the triangle fold in? Well, that's what's happening in this shape right here. So I'm gonna finish this one just as, as it is. Again, I'm gonna bring just one of the laps to the middle. You might need to get a grown up to come and help you, assist you with this one. Once you get this shape, you're in the other side of origami world. You're ready for harder pieces. And I'm gonna do that step again, cause I know that one's hard and I know it's confusing and I know I'm pushing you to the limit. This is hard to do, but you can do it and I believe in you. Fold the paper in half as a square. We come up with a rectangle. 
right? Open it. Rotate your paper. Fold it in half again. Open it. And now, flip your paper. When I flip my paper, my folds are gonna be on the on the other opposite direction. Make it a diamond shape and fold those up. One, half, rotate, two halves. Till this point, everything, everything is easy peasy, right? Now I need to find triangles, not squares. I'm just looking at this shape and I need to push the center in like this and now I'm gonna come up with my triangles what well, I'm confused oh there they are and like this see that okay I got confused there too for a second so I had these I had these it's the same I just need to put my paper as a square and then I will see the triangles. If I have my paper, if I have my paper as a rhombus, what I see are squares. So that way I can just go like this and find the squares. I just need to flip that squares. Play with it. With time, you will see what I'm talking about. Play with it. And when, once you have the shape, just go ahead and meet those two little legs, arms, in the center. So you will need to make multiple of these, okay? All right, so the idea of this uh, origami uh, wall art is for you to work with symmetry and geometry. These are at the end of the day, geometrical shapes, but they also have relief, see, because they're three-dimensional. The flaps on the folds make them three-dimensional. Three they're not flat on the paper, they're three-dimensional. So what I want you to do and start creating shapes in the center of your paper or in the whole paper, like this. Grab a piece that you already worked on, like these guys right here. And if I want, if I have one in one side, I should, I recommend you have another one in the other side. Maybe like this, you form a nice, good looking center there. You can start combining these guys, probably putting one inside of the other, like that. So if I have that, oh, sorry, this way. If I have that there, I need to have it here too. So when you have all your pieces, I just want you to play with them until you have something that you like, something that you like. And once you come up with a design that interests you, that you think looks good, that's when you're gonna start gluing things down to your paper. You can decorate corners or you can just work on your symmetry, whatever works for you. I kind of like stacking them a little bit like this. And maybe I'll use all of the ones I have. So I gave you multiple pieces. So if the paper, if you made them all in this paper, so look, it looks like a flower and the paper looks, um, it gets, it runs too small for you. You can always use a big cardboard that you cut out from a shipping box, or you can even glue two of the black papers I gave you, because I think you're gonna have extra, so you can, I, I will allow you to glue two of those together, so you can have a bigger surface to work on. And now you know where the middle is, so that will make you, that will make your art even bigger, and it will actually look really cool. So go ahead and make your make your art, play with your puzzles. I don't have the 30 ones, uh, the 30 shapes here, but 
it will give you the idea. I will start working on all my shapes. I will just keep uh, playing for a little bit to show you all the possibilities that these um, pieces hold for you to discover. And let's see where I want to put these ones here. And I will see you at the end of the project. Keep playing with them. Have fun.